up, beautiful people? This is your girl, Tremaine. This is Prophetic Encouragement. And guess what, guys? Look who I have in the building. Woo! In the car, I should say, in the miracle car, okay? Listen, y'all, I know it has been some days that I have been away, but when I tell you God is stretching prophetic encouragement, and I am excited because not only that I have a beautiful, rare gem, a gem in the car with me. This is a gem. Um, this is a gem. A very, gem. very, no, she's a gem, and she's very rare, very anointed, very qualified, and I just, this is my sister, and I mean, God is doing a new thing, and so as you know, um, this is prophetic encouragement. Do me, do me a favor because it's gonna get real good, and you don't want to miss it. Press that like button right now, okay? Yes. Subscribe to this channel. We got some exciting news, okay? Yes. So just sit tight. Um, so like this video, um, subscribe, and get, cause you know what? I got a what? I got a word! I got a word! Hey! I got a word! Hey! I got a word! Hey! I got a word! Come on and sit on down. I got a word. Everybody grab a seat. I got a word. Listen, she got a word, okay, okay. Listen, I'm super excited. So today, y'all already know who I am. My name is Tremaine. You're welcome here. You know that I stand with the will of God for your life. I had to snatch her up really quickly, and I'm trying to be really quick. I don't know how long we're going to be, but God is speaking. You guys know that this is the year of kingdom marriage. It is 2023, right? No, it's 2022, okay. And then today is what? This is the new year, the Hebrew calendar as well, 5,000. 783 right so we know that god is doing supernatural things his will is going to be done in the earth realm through his children and he is aligning everyone up two by two right to display the family to display his original intent for marriage um he's already uh he I like i y'all know i say that i always believe that that is the only institution that he wanted us under right um, and um, he wants to come back to that. He wants to come back to that. He wants to come back to husband and wives. Amen. One God, yes. one faith. Okay, and no sweet hearts on the side. Okay, and so we thank God. So I have the pleasure of introducing to you guys none other than the prophet, prophetess, okay, uh, minister, intercessor, warrior, a princess, a queen. Um, what else, Lord? For real, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I'm not trying to do too many. Um, this really, this video is very, very. This message is very, very raw. Um, you know, I don't play no games over here. I know I stand with the will of God for your life, so I'm not gonna just bring anybody up in y'all face. But I seen this in the vision, and we walked. She walked out the house today, had on black. But this is none other than Alicia. Yvonne, oh, and she's a PK kid, okay? Her father is a bishop, okay? I don't want to just spill all her accolades out there, but this is a mighty might. Huh? She walks heavy, okay? And um, she has lived, and she is still living, and she is here. And this is just the beginning, okay? And God allowed, allowed, allowed us to meet and collide and align our purpose and, and allow our, our walk um, as I'm in alignment. Here she come. As she's in alignment, here I come. So this mm -hmm. is Alicia Yvonne Love. Okay, put your hands together. Hey! <laughs> yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. Now we're gonna that y'all listen. She being I nice. Am. She being nice. I but am. she she going she gonna talk up. So I want to say this to you, sis, that I know that we are living in a time that uh, God is calling His sons and daughters. Um, to walk in marriage, yes. holy matrimony, yes. that God is establishing marriages that uh, he want in the earth realm mm -hmm. to display uh, his love and family to the world. Yes. He wants reconciliation. He wants yes. redemption. He wants um, healing. He wants family. Um, and he loves family, you know, and um, he loves you. And um, and I got know before in the Bible, it talks about in Genesis 2 and 18 that um, a man should not be alone, right? Mm -hmm. And that is not the will of God. Right. That man should be alone. You don't right. have to be alone. If you want marriage, right? right? right. If you desire marriage, which is a good thing. 
which is a good thing. And I'm going to give you the floor, okay? okay. What do you say? Uh, Whereas, uh, what is your thoughts on kingdom marriage here that is also spilling over into 2023, 2024? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, okay. it is. That is accurate, yes. Very, um, let me just backpedal a little bit and tell you thank you for inviting me. I absolutely love prophetic encouragement, I love um, the platform that you've created. God has given you something so beautiful, um, and I love that you are such a good steward over what God has given yeah. you. Um, I have so much admiration for um, your personal growth and development, and just the fact that you are just launching out into the deep. You, you the, mm -hmm. the shallow waters was, um, it was not a place for you. You launched out into the deep wow. with God and you. you are really allowed God to stretch you and really allowed him to download his mind and the things that he has um, for the earth. He's downloaded those things into you. And before you gave them, I saw you sit with those things wow. and I saw you let God develop um, his word in you and because God put a seed of his word in you it grew in you before you gave it to anybody else which is um, a beautiful and proper process so I applaud you today yeah, kudos to you, you. and thank what a blessing uh, prophetic encouragement has in the woman of God you're so blessed to have her and she is a, uh, a blessed to have you guys too yes. I, I have been here before yes. and I love this platform yes. um, such a wonderful loving mm -hmm. loving um, <laughs> group of people and so we say welcome today we say good morning somewhere yes. in the world good afternoon somewhere in the world and good evening somewhere in the world um, I'm excited about what God is doing in the earth. Mm -hmm. um, we hear so much doom and gloom and, you know, the world wants us to believe that everything is happening um, amiss. It's just happening all over the place. But God is very strategic. Um, God is very creative. Mm -hmm. um, God is always exciting. And mm -hmm. kingdom marriage, just the sound of that. Oh, yeah. say that with me. <laughs> Kingdom, Kingdom marriage. marriage. <laughs> Ooh, you know, um, you had, um, I, think, I believe this is also had felled on you, I believe, at the top of the year at some point. Um, and I think at what mm -hmm. was the time that you was, um, I believe you went Facebook Live and you mm -hmm. was like, you felt the prayer, the mantle of oh, marriage yes. to, uh, because you, she is anointed to establish, you know, relationships and see that people get to their mm -hmm. um relationship partner or purpose partner or whatever yes. the case may be can you expound on that what took place within you because i remember you called me and you prayed and then you that went day. live on facebook and yes. you had a robe on uh -huh. okay uh -huh. and you was like really honing in on what the yeah. lord has deposited in you for oh, yeah. marriages oh yeah um i believe that was at the uh, beginning of the year yeah and um Someone called and said, listen, um, we have a young lady who's been dealing with the breakup in a situation, and she was very distraught over the breakup, mm -hmm. and needed prayer, and just needed encouragement, and she wanted an understanding of why the, you know, what was going on, and are they going to be back together, many questions she had, and in that very moment, God opened up um, the realm of marriage to me, I began to see See what the Lord was saying, not just in her situation, of course we ministered to her, but what uh, the what Father was saying to the whole body of Christ. Yeah. Um, he said he sat on me so heavy wow. that I I couldn't even get out of the seat. I remember that day um, I sat in the kitchen and I must have been there for like ten hours Woo! in that one seat. I mean when. When, when, when he's sitting on me that way, when his hand is upon me so heavily, mm -hmm. um, nothing even mattered. It was not food, bathroom, anything, because he was downloading what he was saying mm -hmm. concerning kingdom marriage in that day. And instantly, of course, you came before me, and um, we were able to, um, I say we, me and another apostle, yeah. Nzinga, uh, were able to minister to you yeah. what the Father was saying concerning your situation personally. And I believe that the message rings all across the kingdom that is not just you were you're a prototype of what God is going to do in the earth um you're an encouragement to many women and so what um what father was saying is that he is uh re-establishing mm. his intention mm. for marriage in the earth concerning the kingdom wow. because there has been so much brutality 
attached to kingdom marriages. There's been an onslaught of attack in marriage. Um, the institute of marriage, it's constantly under fire. The, wh why do you need to redefine marriage when God has given a clear definition in the beginning? Um, so, you know, he's doing something new and exciting mm -hmm. concerning kingdom marriage. And there's so much to expect. Mm -hmm. And you was telling me that um, that I believe it was some more like because I feel that kingdom marriage is, is God's plan and it's being brought now out. Mm -hmm but it's under attack as well. Mm -hmm. And it's a very crucial time because mm -hmm. polygamy, I guess, oh, yes. is now on a rise mm -hmm. and the LBG community is now on mm -hmm. a rise. And, you know, the laws and the government and what they're trying to make seem to be normal. Mm -hmm. And that is not what God has already established in the beginning. So can you expound on the importance of not only one desiring marriage, but those that know that they are called to marriage? Um, um, this, the, is there is there urgency? Is there a sense of urgency for the establishment of the kingdom marriage? Okay, so that's a good question. Let's backpedal a little bit. Okay. Um, what God has deemed to be so will be established, right? But what the world is trying to do is create a panic mm -hmm. that what He said to us won't happen. Mm -hmm. Because X, Y, and Z, this is happening and that is happening. But the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun, right? right? So, guess what? There was lesbianism. Right. There was um, all types of homosexuality, all kind of ungodly acts always taking place in the earth, right? Right. And so, I would say in this time, um, continue to, our biggest um, warfare is to hold on to what he's saying. Mm hmm to believe that it's going to happen no matter what is happening in the world. That God, you desired a good thing. And God has approved that thing. He really um, is going to do a thing for you concerning marriage. And the um, where, 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 we're, where, where the warfare is, is are you going to believe it? Are you going to hold on to it no matter what uh, CNN says, no matter what Fox 5 says? Are you going to hold on no matter what it looks like, no matter even what it feels like? Are you going to hold on to the fact that God said you're going to be a wife, that God said you're going to be a husband, wow. that you're going to have children, that you're going to do um, great exploits as a couple um, in the kingdom for his glory? Uh, yes, the warfare is to create a panic in you wow. and that you feel um an anxiety an anxiousness oh gotta get this done gotta get that the time is winding up let me tell you something inhale and exhale because god said it and you were included in it when he said it mm -hmm. it's gonna happen mm -hmm. it's gonna happen and it's not going to stop happening mm -hmm. that's the most beautiful thing so you were exactly right when you said 2022 rolling into 2023 rolling into it's yeah. not going to stop. Yeah. It's going to pick up momentum. Mm -hmm. And kingdom marriage is going to be established so great in the earth. Yeah. Um, it's just it's just going to be a beautiful thing to see yeah. and experience. Yes. Yeah. Um, what would you say? I, I believe in that time when you was calling people around, you was um, telling people to stop hiding about their desire yes. to be married. Can yes. you touch a bit on that? Absolutely. Because we live in a culture who says... Um, They've attached um, a woman who wants to be married, and um, mm -hmm. they, they it, it, it kind of like had I was saying these last seasons maybe a negative um, stigmatism. It's like oh you're weak if you want a man. Right. Oh I can do it by myself. I don't need a man. Culture perpetuates those things, and so what I felt the Lord was saying to me was free the women, mm -hmm. free them, let them know marriage is a good thing. There you go. It, and, and I established it as a good thing. And you don't have to feel afraid to say, listen, it didn't work even for me the first time. Hey, well, might not have even worked the second or third time. The third or the fourth, listen. And mm -hmm. um, that it's okay to be free to say, I want to try it again. Or I want to try it for the first time. I, I want to experience marriage. And, yeah. um, and, and not feel ashamed for wanting what God wants and what God has created mm -hmm. as, as such a beautiful institution. Yeah. You know, so I just gave a, a platform uh, for women to say, hey, I want it. Mm -hmm. I want it. And it's okay to want it. Mm -hmm. 
And you don't need anybody's approval to want what God wants for you. Oh, say, say that again. <laughs> Not your. Let me. Let me. Hold okay. On. Okay. No. Listen. I'm really. Since <laughs> me, you already know, everybody know. Okay. You cannot hold mm. back. Mm. And I already know she's just warming up, y'all. But really, you. And that, this is what I was saying. When you know that God has promised you a thing, whether it be marriage, whether it be a career, whether it be the promise, whatever the promise is, your healing, your breakthrough, your bloodline, whatever the promise is, you don't need nobody's approval. Nobody. Nobody's. I mean, you don't need your mama's approval because her marriage didn't work. Oh, or because she never got married. Right? Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, okay. Ugh. Mm -hmm. You don't need your you're daddy. Free, you're you, uh, you gonna get free today. You gonna get free every time. Um, this one here show up. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, an administrator. I inject you with a freedom serum. Okay, I'm gonna yes. get you free. Yes, she's um, an apostle too. Forgot mm -hmm. to say that she walks heavy in the uh, apostolic yeah, so. anointing as well. Yes, yeah. my God. You're gonna get free. Um, you don't need your daddy's opinion because he would never settle down and become a husband. You don't need his approval. You don't need anybody's. You don't even need your children's approval to want mm. to be married um, because you might have had some outside of the marriage bed. Um, that's your business. Yeah. <laughs> that's between you and God. Um, you don't need anybody's approval to desire a good thing. Right. A good marriage is a good thing. Right. Yes. And, and God has created in you a suitable mate. You are a suitable mate. So we're excited. Be free. Be excited. You don't have to hide that you want to be married. You don't have to hide um, that you want a beautiful wedding. You don't have to hide if you don't even want a wedding at all. So everybody doesn't want that experience. Right. Whatever it is you want, you don't have to hide it. Mm -hmm. And so over here at Prophetic Encouragement, we just yeah. come today to encourage you yes. to be free. Be free. Um, Celebrate what God has given you. Mm -hmm. Talk about it to the right audience. Listen. Be free and beautiful. Y'all see, beautiful. listen, y'all, I put eyelashes on her for today. Y'all see yes, this? Yes, I love it. She's beautiful. <laughs> I put eyelashes on for her today. <laughs> so, um, I want to also, I want you to see if you can touch on the importance of being ready. That's a, this is two, these are two, these are two ride to be. You want to answer? No, because they're going to get into, okay. they both get married. Okay, okay so okay. we'll get into that. Okay. See, it's happening. Mm -hmm. um, a pastor and an apostle. <laughs> okay. um, I'm sorry. Well, I, now, what was fine. the question? I may Let's edit go. it out. It's all right. Okay. It's, it's, it's real over here, yes, though. Yeah. Okay, so what was the question again? The I'm question sorry. is um, the importance of being ready for the kingdom. Oh, marriage. beautiful, beautiful question. Okay. Because I believe that um, that is right where we are. It's mm -hmm. not that the marriage is going to happen or not. We, You're getting married. Okay, so we, we don't even need to revisit that ah, over and over and over. that and over. word, okay? okay, okay You're getting okay. married. You're getting married. Okay, that's it. We already established that. So what is already established does not have to keep being reiterated and implied. Receive the word. Accept the word. Tell God, yes, I received this word. I am getting married. I am getting, getting married. Meet me at the altar in and your white dress. It can be white, pink, purple, or blue. Whatever yes, you choose. You do you. Okay? That's what you do. So. Prophetic encouragement, family. I pray that this has truly been a blessing to you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Stay tuned. Turn on your notification to all because you don't want to miss what God is saying to Prophet Alicia Love here in this season of marriage. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. That is the biggest thing we're dealing with is preparation. Okay, let me tell you something about God. He's never going to give you something that you're prepared. Say that again. He's never going to give you something and you're ill prepared.